Hey, in this video, we're taking a look at a website called Frameset. Frameset is a new website for finding stills and inspiration for your next project. One of the main differences I've found that separates Frameset from its competition is the fact that it includes not only stills from film, but from music videos and commercials as well. I should say that this is not a sponsored video, but I have been given access to a premium account to allow me to demonstrate the full features of the site. All opinions are my own, and they don't have a say in this video, I won't get a chance to see it before it's published. When you first land on Frameset, you'll be greeted by the homepage. Here, you'll be able to find all the various search options to get you started. I quite like that you have the option to switch between light and dark mode, but if you're anything like me, everything will always be in dark mode. On the left, you have all the various search options, and along the top, you can switch between movies, music videos, and commercials. You also have the option to change the scale of the thumbnails to suit your need for how you like to browse. There are a number of different ways you can start to search using Frameset. If you know you want something specific like man on laptop, interior, daytime, you can just type that in. You might find something you like, but it's not quite right. If that's the case, you can use the browse similar feature to bring up a variety of similar shots. If you'd like to be more abstract with your search, you can put in something like Wes Anderson inspired exterior, for example. The search bar is just one way to go about your search though. If you have no idea where you want to start and are just looking for some pure inspiration, you can click on the trending button to see some of the current most popular shots. You can view the credits for any of the shots by clicking the credits icon. To get really specific with your search, you can take a look at all of the options you have in the filter section. This includes everything from color, aspect ratio, saturation, temperature, time of day, and much more. When you find something you like, you can click on it to enlarge it. And here you have the option to add it to your favorites or to add it to a specific set. If you'd like a larger, higher quality version, you can click on the image again. From here, you can right click and save it to your own device. There is an option to download an entire set at once if you have a whole collection of images you've saved. I like that you're able to have both public and private sets. It's great that you're able to share your sets with collaborators. If you feel like browsing on the go or while you're on location for some last minute inspiration, the mobile version of Frameset works really well. The UI feels really nice, clean and responsive. One of the really nice things about Frameset is that it allows you to browse the site for free without having to go through a paywall. The premium option gives you access to things such as unlimited searching, 4K browsing, and 25 public or private sets. I hope you found this little introduction to Frameset useful. If you'd like to see more videos on low budget cinematography or filmmaking in general, you can subscribe here or carry on watching one of these videos. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.